As we celebrate the 4th of July, let's take a moment to appreciate the freedoms we enjoy and remember the sacrifices made by those who served in our armed forces. Our veterans have dedicated their lives to protecting our nation and their bravery and commitment are the bedrock of our freedom. Today we extend our heartfelt thanks to all veterans for their service, their sacrifices, and their unwavering dedication to our country. Happy Independence Day! Vet exploitation films are a unique subgenre that portrays the struggles of a veteran returning from war, often focusing on themes of PTSD, societal rejection, and revenge. These films, mostly B films, provide a gritty and often controversial look at the veteran experience. Here are the top 10 vet exploitation films according to the internet. Number one is Rolling Thunder 1977, a harrowing tale of a Vietnam veteran who seeks revenge after his family is brutally murdered. This film is renowned for its intense portrayal of drama and justice. And of course, The First Blood 1982, this iconic film introduces John Rambo, a Vietnam vet who is mistreated by society and law enforcement, leading to a one-man war against injustice. Taxi Driver 1976, Martin Scorsese's classic film feature disturbed veteran who becomes a vigilante in the gritty underbelly of New York City. The Exterminator 1980, a grim story of a Vietnam vet who turns into a vigilante seeking to clean up the streets of New York after his friend is murdered. Jacob's Ladder 1990, a psychological horror film, explores the nightmarish post-war life of Vietnam veteran suffering from severe PTSD and hallucinations. This video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. 6. Thou Shall Not Kill, Except 1985, a cult classic where a group of Vietnam vets take on a murderous cult in a blood-soaked revenge mission. Welcome Home Soldier Boys 1972, a haunting film about the difficulties faced by four Vietnam veterans trying to reintegrate into society, leading to tragic consequences. Cannibal Apocalypse 1980, a horror-infused vet exploitation film where Vietnam vets return home infected with the virus that turns them into cannibals. Someone said, Cannibal Apocalypse, Apocalypse Now, let's merge that peanut butter with that chocolate. He got peanut butter on my chocolate. He got chocolate in my peanut butter. It sure is a nice house. And that trophy room is something else. What exactly did you guys do? We were the best trained junk killers in the world. Red, White, and Blue 2010, a modern take on vet exploitation genre. This film explores the dark and violent journey of an Iraq war veteran seeking redemption and revenge. And of course, describing how a veteran feels upon returning from war is a profound challenge. Each veteran's experience is unique, shaped by their personal encounters and specific circumstances of their service. Many veterans struggle with PTSD, a condition that can invoke intense memories, anxiety, and emotional numbness. Society's often inadequate understanding and support can exacerbate these struggles, leaving veterans feeling isolated and misunderstood. Bad exploitation films, while traumatized and dramatized and often exaggerated, highlight these themes and offer a glimpse into the complex emotions and experience of returning veterans. They serve as a reminder of the ongoing need for compassion, support, and understanding for those who have served our nation. This 4th of July, as we celebrate our freedom, let us also remember and honor our veterans whose sacrifices have made this possible. Who's your daddy?